Well, we're done with editing, finally. Yeah, thank God. Let's watch it over now. Okay. Yeah. I'm left brain. I'm analytical and make calculated risk when necessary. I make precise decisions and I do not take others' feelings into consideration. I'm right brain. I deal with emotions and look on the brighter side. I take risks and I'm aware of others' feelings. There will always be suffering in our lives. I deal with that suffering by using logic and reasoning to come up with a solution. Yes. There will always be suffering, but I deal with my suffering by jamming out to my favorite song and taking creative steps for a solution. Practice 36 of the 37 practices of a bodhisattva. In short, in everything you do, know what is happening in your mind. By being constantly present and aware, you bring about what helps others. This is the practice of a bodhisattva. Practice 16 of the 37 practices of a bodhisattva. Even if a person you have cared for as your own child treats you as his or her worst enemy, lavish him or her with loving attention, like a mother caring for her ill child. This is the practice of a bodhisattva. I take care of the second and fourth noble truths. The second is the cause of suffering, where I am aware of what exactly is the reason for suffering. The fourth is the path that frees us from the suffering, where I think realistically to get rid of the suffering. I take care of the first and third noble truths. The first is suffering, where I believe with all life there is suffering. The third is the end of suffering, where I am optimistic that it will indeed end. I do not take unnecessary things into consideration. When they are not logical, I am indifferent towards them. I am not indifferent, since I do care about myself and others. I recognize and express emotions, making me aware of my surroundings. Death is inevitable. It's a concept that people need to accept. It may be sad, but that's not what I'm worried about. I worry more about the aftermath regarding its effect on routine. So it goes. I'm emotional about death. Others' emotion influence mine, and I dwell on the tragedy of lost lives. So it goes is not an appropriate reaction to losing a loved one. Free will should be structured. There needs to be logical reasoning behind every move and decision. If not, there's no real reason to be making free will decisions. Of course I should decide where my actions are and decide my own fate. My life, my emotions, my body, my mind, these are my rights as an individual. That was pretty good. Yeah, not too shabby. I hope Franklin likes it. Yeah, me too. How, How do we do, do Mr. Mr. Franklin? Franklin?